Please, take care of your teeth. Yes, these are the unforgettable words of Dr. John Henry Holliday, world-famous dentist, philosopher, and gunfighter. That's right, he's dead now, but his words live on and on, passed on from generation to generation. Why? Because this idea, so simply stated, carried with it the seed of truth, and riding on the wind, lighting at last in the fertile compost of clean and decent minds, it flourished and grew until today, it actually makes perfect sense. According to recent government surveys, our entire society is balanced precariously on a paradoxical oral fixation. On the one hand, we are encouraged to consume and consume. All in a manner entirely inconducive to oral health. And yet, on the other hand, stained, decayed, diseased and dirty teeth are considered a social embarrassment, while whiter, brighter teeth really do mean sex appeal. What can you do? Stop eating all those great tasting goodies? Forget your teeth, eat what you want, and face society with a mouthful of dental hardware like these? The answer, of course, is oral hygiene. Taking care of your teeth. It's the one solution that will allow you to have your teeth and eat with them, too. But what is the proper way to take care of your teeth? Before we answer this question, let's learn a little bit about our teeth, what they are made of and why problems arise. Only a part of each tooth shows above your gums. This part is called the crown. The part that you cannot see is called the root. The root extends deep into your jawbone to hold the tooth firmly in place. Your teeth are mostly made of a hard substance called dentin which is very much like your bones. In the center is a core of nerves called the pulp, which cause your teeth to hurt when you eat something too hot or too cold. Your teeth also have a hard protective layer called enamel. Enamel is the hardest part of your body, and without it, teeth wouldn't last long. Your whole body needs a balanced diet to stay healthy and strong, and your mouth is no exception. Do you know about the five basic food groups? All of these foods are vital to the health, strength, and beauty of your teeth and gums, and should be eaten every day. But just as important as what you should eat is what you shouldn't eat. Sugar is especially hard on your teeth. Watch what happens when we place this ordinary tooth in this ordinary sugar soft drink. The tooth just doesn't have a chance. Now, in the year 1900, the average American ate about five pounds of sugar per year. Today, it's more like a hundred pounds. We could all do our teeth a big favor by eating a little less sugar. But a nutritious diet is not enough to ensure healthy teeth. There are bacteria in your mouth which can cause serious problems. They are harmless as long as they simply float around in your saliva. But when they gather together on your teeth, they become sticky. This substance is called plaque. These bacteria then eat the bits of food that you eat. They love sugar. And they leave behind acids that soften, then dissolve away the protective enamel on your teeth. This is the beginning of a cavity. This plaque can be loosened, however, before it does any harm. This is accomplished by brushing and flossing every day. Begin by breaking off a piece of dental floss about 18 inches long. Wrap the ends three times around each of your middle fingers. Now, starting with the back teeth, 
direct the floss with your fingers down into the space between your teeth and wiggle it up and down against each tooth. Do both sides, top and bottom. Be sure to work the floss on both sides of each space. This exercise not only loosens decay-causing plaque, it also tones and conditions your gums for a healthier, happier smile. Now, of course, everyone knows how to brush their teeth. Wrong! There is a proper brushing technique that guards effectively against decay and oral disease. And this isn't it either. Let's start from the beginning. Start with a soft bristled brush. Remove the cap from a tube of toothpaste and squeeze a small amount onto your brush. Wet the brush. Begin with the back teeth and brush gently along the gum line in tiny circles, slowly working your way forward. Do one side, then the other, both top and bottom. Then do the same thing on the inner sides of your teeth. It takes time to do a thorough job, so don't be in too much of a hurry. Now, give a good brushing to the tops of your molars, way in the back. And while you're at it, it also helps to brush your tongue. Plaque builds up here too and can cause bad breath. Now spit. Rinse your mouth and your brush. And hang your brush to dry. That's all there is to it. Doesn't your mouth feel fresh and clean just thinking about it? And now there is just one more thing. You need to visit the dentist twice a year. Oh no you don't, come back here and open wide. Your dentist isn't a bad sort. He doesn't want to hurt you. He's just doing what he knows is best for you. Think of him like the gas station mechanic who works on your car. He's just giving your mouth a tune-up fixing the little things before they become disasters. Sure, it's enough to make you nervous with all those strange looking tools disappearing into your mouth. But try asking your dentist to explain what he's doing and to give you a mirror so you can watch too. You'll get to see where you forgot to brush and how the dentist can clean those places for you. You'll find out just how all these funny tools help to give you healthier teeth. You might even be able to see what a real cavity looks like and the interesting way he keeps it from becoming a terrible toothache. He can also give you personal tips on how to make sure your next checkup is a perfect one. He might even give you a new toothbrush. Teeth. They really are important. And if you watch your diet, visit your dentist twice a year, and follow these easy exercises every day, you may never be bothered, pained, or embarrassed by oral disease again. So remember the immortal words of Doc Holliday. Please, take care of your teeth. They're the only ones you have.